For more than 27 years, fans have discussed, debated, and straight up yelled at each other with regards to who in Final Fantasy VII is the best girl. Chances are, if you have an opinion on the matter, you really have an opinion on the matter, and thus want to make sure that you get your preferred romance partner for the first playthrough of Rebirth. So for those in the Tifa camp, here's how to make sure your date at the Gold Saucer culminates with the right girl and the right scene. First off, we have a general video on how to increase relationship levels already, so if you're unfamiliar with how the relationship system works in Rebirth, let me direct you there to save us some time going over the basics. What it all boils down to is that you need to have Tifa be the most favored person in your party, and you need to have her relationship symbol in the dark blue by the time you reach the big date in Chapter 12 at the Gold Saucer to get a standard date, and light blue to get the intimate version of that date. To do this, follow these steps. Number 1. Pick the right answers in Tifa's relationship-building conversational moments. Over the course of your journey, you'll have a handful of opportunities to chat with Tifa and give her a response. There's a best response, a good response, and a bad response. Though you'll never lose relationship points, choosing anything but the best answer will cause you to miss out on getting the most points for that dialogue. Tifa's first conversation is right outside the inn in Calm. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Make sure to pick the place I made that promise to you. The second conversation is in Junon inside her room at the inn. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? You'll want to respond to her question with, the only person I remember from the village is you. Huh? Oh. Okay then. The third opportunity is in Chapter 6, when you're all hanging out on the beach at Costa del Sol. Tifa will be at the minibar. Here, you'll want to say, lots happened since then. A lot. Good and bad. Ever wish you could just snap your fingers and forget the worst stuff? Next will be Chapter 9. Shortly after arriving at Gangaga, you'll be given a chance to explore the town on your own. Head down the ramp, past Red, and you'll run into Tifa. You'll want to reply, gonna go with Pot Roast. Uh. Why does that not surprise me? In Chapter 10, during the festival, your party members will all be in the crowd waiting for you to approach them. In Tifa's case, you're going to want to respond to her with, you did good. Kinda wanted everyone to get it though. Finally, the last opportunity will be in Chapter 11 when you return to Nibelheim. During the part where everyone splits up to different parts of the town, head to the second story of the treatment center where you'll find Tifa reminiscing. Respond with, have I helped you get through it at all? Yeah, you have. If it wasn't for you. I wouldn't have had the courage to come back here. In the case of these responses, and honestly with everything related to relationship building, don't worry too much if you miss an opportunity or two, or give the wrong response. There are plenty of chances to increase your relationship level, and you don't need to have it perfect in order to get the best result. Number 2. Do Tifa's Side Quests Almost every side quest in the game grants affinity with a particular character. Tifa's side quests are as follows. For the Grasslands, a rare card lost. Two in Junon, calling all frogs, and dreaming of blue skies. Two in Corel, bodybuilders in a bind, and gold cup or bust. And then one for the Nebel region, my white-haired angel. Upon completion of these side quests, you'll get a big boost to Tifa's relationship score. But there are opportunities within some of them to slightly boost the score even more for a perfectly executed solution. For example, in the Dreaming of Blue Skies quest, if you choose the bait instead of the monster meat at the conclusion of the quest, you'll get a small extra bit of relationship score as well. Number 3. Story Beats Within the main quest, there are three opportunities to increase your relationship level with Tifa before the Gold Saucer date in Chapter 12. First, you should strive to win the Junon Inauguration Parade. You can give yourself a better shot at this by making sure to find all of the 7th Infantry members to perform in a higher scoring parade. Then in Costa del Sol, make sure that Cloud and Tifa have the same taste in swimsuits. Basically, this means matching how revealing their swimsuits are. If you choose Ocean Chocobo for Cloud, you should choose Majestic Glamour for Tifa. And if you choose Wild Surf for Cloud, you should choose Shining Spirit for Tifa. Also in Costa del Sol, there will be a story beat where your party will split up and you'll have to choose who to join in battle. Either Aerith and Barret or Tifa and Red. Obviously, make sure you choose Tifa and Red here. Number 4. Synergy Skills and Abilities 
Finally, you'll need to make sure that you use all of Tifa's synergy abilities and synergy skills with Cloud. We've got a synergy guide handy in case you've got any questions about how they work, but for simplicity's sake, here are all of the skills and abilities you should be looking to unlock on each folio. On Cloud's folio, you should unlock Relentless Rush, Counterfire, and Melee Blade, and all of the prerequisite nodes to reach those three. And on Tifa's folio, you should unlock Synchro Cyclone, Leaping Strikes, and Slip and Slide, and all of the prerequisite nodes to reach those three as well. Then it's just a matter of making sure you use those abilities at least once. Synergy abilities that you haven't gotten the relationship bonus for yet will be marked with a yellow circle. Number five, make sure you're doing more for Tifa than anyone else. As mentioned earlier, you don't have to do all these things to get your Tifa date in chapter 12. All you need is for Tifa to be in the fourth level of the relationship status, which is denoted by a dark blue happy face. Or if you're striving for an intimate date, then you need to have her in the fifth level of the relationship status, denoted by a light blue face. That said, if you're doing more side quests for another character, or you've favored them in your party and have done more synergy skills and abilities with them, or you've answered better on their questions than Tifa's, there's a chance their relationship score might be higher than Tifa's, and they'll be the one knocking on your door in Chapter 12. There's no way to check the relationship score until you beat the game, so just make sure you're keeping a mental note of where Cloud stands with everyone. And if you want to be really safe, just do side quests with Tifa as your partner. If all goes according to plan, Tifa will be the one who comes knocking, and you'll get to take your childhood crush on the date of her dreams. Thanks for watching, and for more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth relationship info, check out our general guide of how to increase your relationship score with every character, or the aforementioned Synergy Guide. And for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.